can you can can you talk about the swing that it is to concede a goal but uh, then get the penalty kick and what that does for the team because you know I mean as you guys played there was a lot of focus on probably the clean sheet at that point with the thrashing that you guys were putting on and something like that changing a game yeah um it's a obviously it's a good thing whenever a goal is called back in your favor and then we of course get get a goal in return um that was that was massive but at that point uh, I think for me personally it was just even if they did score that one, it was just we got to win this game. Um, doesn't matter what the score line is. We just got to get the three points, and then, you know, that's it. I was going to ask you a similar question about the clean sheet. How upsetting was it to not get it in the end tonight? <laughs> yeah, definitely disappointing, um, especially me and Zach talked after – the penalty that that you guys are talking about, um, and we were both, you know, obviously focused on winning, but I think it was in the back of our minds a little bit as well. Um, so when I saw that we we gave it up, uh, and we've we've talked about it, you know, just in the past, because um, I, I believe I think Sean Johnson just broke a, a hundred uh, shutouts or some or went to fourth all time or something like that. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely on our minds. It, it looks good on the stat sheet. Um, disappointed not to, to obviously get the clean sheet, but couldn't be happier for the group. You know, a win like that, it's, it's awesome for the team, awesome for the vibes. So it's good. Um, you've been on this team for a long time, probably longer than anybody at this point. Um, is this the best that you've seen this team play and just the quality of players and, and the level that you guys are at? Yeah, I think so. Definitely, definitely in in my time here, um, I think there's there's definitely an argument for um, obviously the team that won the cup, um, but that was that was before me, so I have no claim there. Um, but yeah, so s since I've been on the team, I think this is definitely the, you know, the the deepest we've been. Um, I'll for sure the best record um, that I've had in any year. Um, so yeah, it's 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 exciting to be on this team right now. I just want to ask you about the crowd. You know, after Colorado, it seems like our home is our fortress now again. You know, so how does that make you feel, guys? As a player, does that motivate you guys more? Yeah, no, it's 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 awesome. Um, obviously, we love playing in front of our home fans. Um, they're they're incredible as always. They, tonight they were absolutely, you know, bringing the energy. Um, I think it helps when we're when we're playing well and scoring goals. Um, but yeah, it, it makes a, a massive difference when we're playing in front of our home fans and the energy, the energy's there. The you look out and it's a sold out stadium. Um, it, it definitely changes the vibe. Uh, Jake on Zoom. Hey Justin, tactically, what do you think you're doing different this year compared to previous years? To you know, make the defense as stout as it maybe had been previously, but we hadn't seen maybe last year. Um, I think, I think it it comes down to just how we're playing in general with our, our offense, um, the way we're spaced out and our our build up and all that puts us in better spots to to repress and win the ball back. I think uh, especially tonight there was a, a lot of balls that kind of popped out top of the eighteen and and around there, and I think we won. I don't know, a, a lot of them, 75% maybe. Um, but I think just the whole team is, is more aggressive and, and we know that it, we're going we're gonna to be aggressive and we're going to have numbers around the ball. Um, and it just makes it, it makes it hard for teams to play when, when as, soon as, as soon as we lose it, the nearest person presses um, and it's immediate pressure. It's, it's hard to play out of when, when, you're, you know, when you have someone running at you. It's, it's hard to pick your head up and find that first pass. So I think we've done a really good job this year of just keeping the, keeping the energy there and, and keeping, keeping teams pinned in. Carson on Zoom. Hey, Justin. Hey. You know, you've played with next to Brian Vera for like over a year now. How has that really developed over time? You guys seem getting along very well next to each other, and you obviously the results are proof. What can you say about your guys' relationship? Um. 
You know, I think just the, the longer you play with someone, the more you understand their tendencies and, and what they're going to do with and without the ball. Um, so just the more time we've had together, we've kind of grown into that relationship. Um, and, and obviously, he's a, he's a physical specimen, which is always fun to play with. Um, so yeah, I think he's, he's comfortable and, and playing well. And, and the whole team right now is just kind of gelling. And it, it, makes, it makes everyone better, not just the defense, when, when the whole team is on the same page. Um, I think you're seeing maybe our relationship looks better because we're getting help from uh, our, our holding mids and, and our, our outside backs and, and everything is kind of just working on a, on a better level. Um, but yeah, he's he's been amazing this year and yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Anything else for Justin? All right, thanks, sir. I right, appreciate you